Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And today I'm very excited to introduce you guys to a new house that I just recently have discovered. It's not a new house, but it's a new discovery of mine. This is another high quality oud based perfume house that is straight right up my alley. The house is called Osman Perfumes, which is an Emirati luxury brown founded in Dubai by Mr. Hussein Khan. Now Osman in Arabic means hours or moments. Through marvel and ingenuity, Osman has found a new approach, one of whimsy and romance to reimagine oud-based perfumes through a contemporary medium. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite fragrances from this house called Majnun, which means crazy in Arabic. Now, something interesting about the name Majnun. In Farsi, my language, there's a very famous story called Layli and Majnun, which it is a love story of a guy being crazy in love with a young lady called Layli. So I think Majnun stands for like being crazy or passionate in love with someone or something you're driven to do or a goal that you have. Initially, when I sprayed this fragrance, I don't know if it was crush or love on the first sniff. I have to say this is a very romantic and seductive scent but yet very addictive. I can see how the name completely matches with the aroma profile of this beautiful creation and how someone could be head over heels or insane about Majnun. Majnun is an amber spicy fragrance, or in other words, a nice, dense, witty, seductive gourmand scent, or even better translated, a smoky and dark fruity oud that resembles rolled balls of bakhur or spicy cinnamon pomegranate coffee. The perfumer who made this seamless, fluid, but yet complex and sophisticated, mouth-watering, passionate, but yet crazy juice is no other than Prim Lombros. And I hope I did not butcher his name. All right, so let's spray some of this and see what we get. Oh, it's so pungent. I can smell that oud already. It filled up the whole entire room. That oud is so unapologetic and the coffee note, it's so prominent, it's so dominant. What a beauty, wow. It's right up my alley. I can see how the name Maginal, like insane or crazy, would go with this fragrance. I never smelled anything like this. Very beautiful. God, I love this, it's so good. Such a full body fragrance, so heavy, but yet so delicious, so seductive. All right, so Majnun opens up with this delicious gourmand notes of coffee, cinnamon, pomegranate, nutmeg, saffron, cloves, and big dose of oud. So you can see from these notes how delicious but yet spicy this scent is going to be. The pomegranate works so well with saffron because pomegranate is a fantasy note that is sweet and sour but yet spicy and leathery at the same time. God, that um, pomegranate, it's uh, pretty dominant too on the opening. Uh, I mean, the oud is pretty unapologetic and it's pretty big when you spray it initially. And the coffee, you know, appears right away and it's also dominant as well. But that, that um, uh, pomegranate, that sourness and sweetness is so beautiful. It's just such an interesting structure. I'm trying to think if I have smelled any fragrance that resembles this, but I just can. It's such a seductive and interesting kind of a fragrance. So well done. All right, so back to pomegranate. So pomegranate not only works well with saffron, it also complements cloves and nutmeg as well, which help the fragrance to become warm, spicy, but yet sweet and earthy with pungent base notes. The big dose of cinnamon adds to a sweet and warm, powdery, tenacious, spicy opening of Majnun. The cinnamon also complements the big dose of saffron here very nicely, which adds to bittersweet, leathery, soft, and intimate, earthy base note of the scent. Now, all these notes are being backed up on the opening with a big dose of coffee, which gives an intense dark rose facet to Majnun. 
Let's not forget that all these delicious gourmand warm spicy chords are accompanied on the opening with this very strong pungent real natural Thailand oud and Indian oud which gives Majnun this animalic woody medicinal sharp odor profile to balance out all these gourmandness to keep its sophistication in check. God, this is getting better and better as the fragrance slowly transitions into its heart that delicious gourmand nutty full-bodied coffee accord transitions to a more bitter dark roasted arabica but with some moments of fruity lemony woody warm heady floral thanks to big dose of tonka bean cypriot oil rose tobacco and smooth champaka flour but it right away turns very woody with a beautiful amber body that is definitely animalic but yet fresh spicy the coffee stays very strong and dark with further help from leather which complements the big dose of saffron but it keeps its beauty with help of cinnamon tobacco champaka and rose and it never loses its gourmand sophistication due to its big dose of tonka bean as Majnun gets to its base, becomes sweeter, darker, smokier, woodier, earthy with hints of floral musks from the patchouli, incense, and vanilla. That amber body starts to shine in the dry down with the perfect balance of all these notes. And don't forget that Thailand oud and the Indian oud stay strong throughout the life cycle of this crazy passionate coffee scent. So all in all, what you get with Majnun, it is warm, spicy, has a big dose of oud, it is animalic, medicinal, woody, has a beautiful amber body to it, it is fresh, spicy, but yet smoky with a big dose of coffee that follows with earthy and floral nuances. As far as performance and longevity goes, it is a great performer and on my skin it lasts easily over 12 hours. Even when I take a shower and when I come out, I can still smell it on my skin. Now, as far as the uh, projection sillage goes, it has an enormous sillage and it projects about five to six feet on the initial spray, which it lasts about an hour and a half. So it's a very strong and powerful fragrance. Now, Match Known has a dual personality, which means when it lingers around, it smells differently than when you smell close by. So when it lingers around, it has that fruity floral type of vibe to it. You can definitely smell the, um, what is that, the, um, a pomegranate, the champaka, the uh, rose, and the cinnamon. But then when you get close to that person, you can definitely smell the oud, the smokiness, and the coffee note in the fragrance. So it has that type of personality, which makes it really interesting. Now, as far as the compliments goes, I'm telling you guys, this is a beauty, and I'm not trying to hype this up again. This is one of those fragrances that uh, on initial spray, I fell in love with this fragrance. It's just so beautiful, and it starts drying down. It just got better and better so i think uh, it's definitely one of those fragrances that you have to have the right personality uh, you have to dress up the part for it uh, to be able to pull it off uh, but i think if you do all those kind of things uh, it would definitely shine on you and you would get a lot of compliments and i think that ladies would definitely be able to pull this off as well because of all those you know the gourmandness uh, the fruity notes and uh, the floral notes i think that ladies could definitely pull this off as well now as far as the uniqueness goes Match noon. Oh my god, you guys, this is a very unique coffee fragrance. I mean, I have a lot of coffee fragrances and it doesn't resemble any of those fragrances. It's its own beast, it's its own DNA. Like I haven't smelled anything like this, and it's done to perfection. I love this fragrance. Um, it's a very unique fragrance. The pomegranate, the cinnamon, the tonka bean. Uh, that smokiness and that Thailand and the Indian oud just make this a perfect fragrance that I haven't smelled before and I love it for that and it makes it very unique. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get to my video. That's all I have for Match Noon by Osman Perfumes. If you own this fragrance, please let me know in the comment section what's your take on it. And if you don't own this one, I would definitely suggest you to get a sample of this because uh, it is a very polarizing uh, an opulent type of a scent, but it is beautiful. And the ones that know me from my channel, I'm telling you, this one is an easy blind buy for you guys that like my style and my taste. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.